What's up, my YouTube world? It's Big Vegans Jazz coming live from the bike station. I was trying to do a video, hence the bike clip, but um, it was too shaky the trail I did, so I couldn't really do a video of my um, bike routine. But I wanted to do a video. I said once I get to the car, I was gonna do a quick video, just a, a personal video instead of the workout video. Because y'all know I my YouTube is really established on the one-on-one -on -one conversations or just my thoughts at the time. If I can get this car open. But I wanted to talk about putting you first. I know that sounds so corny, but the, the ish is real. literally have to it's a must it's a must gotta have y'all water oh, it's a <laughs> but yes i wanted to do a video on how to put you first and how you are the most important person in your life your job not your i know this sound crazy but not your kids you because you can't be a good parent you can't be a good person you can't be a good oh that was a good workout i had to literally stop and say no i come first i need to go do me dropped all the kids off and it's time to do me. But I wanted to do a video about how putting yourself first is so important. And a lot of times as mothers, as entrepreneurs, as workers, as whatever you are in life, we tend to forget about us, ourselves. And not saying, oh, you have to work out. It could be anything. It could be meditating by the water. It could be spending time with your kids if it's therapeutic for you a lot of people don't get a chance to spend as much time with their kids so that could be something therapeutic or you know because a lot of people uh, <coughs> criticize people about how much time should be spent with your child and that's really nobody business how much time you spend with your child or what you consider enough time or Whatever the case may be, that's not no one's business to criticize or critique or judge. So, um, yes, I wanted to just do a video about putting yourself first. We put our relationships first. We put everybody ahead of us. We don't even take a long, peaceful bath long enough before we're yelling at the door like, stop knocking on the door. I don't know. A lot of everybody is not the same, but... A lot of people can relate because it's relatable and we don't put ourselves first and you're wondering why your hair falling out why you can't get certain things in life why you can't manifest because everybody is expected for you everybody expect for you to make them happy that's why they want you around if you didn't make them happy you wouldn't have people banging at your door trying to be next to you But they count on you to make them happy. They count on you to make their day, you know, um, that smile or whatever. They count on you to work, going to work. They count on you to do your job. They count on you to feed them, your kids. They count on you to massage their ego or uh, tend to their needs, your significant other but you don't sit back and think about yourself you're not taking the time out to read a book that you've been wanting to read for the longest you don't sit back and watch videos because you feel like it you don't sit back and take out time for yourself and you have to you are the most important person in your life if you don't 
you will not have a good life. Your life will be dedicated to everyone. My hands ashy because of COVID-19. We wash hands over here. But your life will be dedicated to serving everyone. You have to serve the God within you. You have to serve your God first. Not just in the morning. You got to give your God some praise throughout the day. Wake up. Thank God for waking you up. <laughs> waking your family up. Waking your whoever up. Thank, thank your God or whoever you pray. But me, I am a God. I thank the God within me. Um, I thank God for my creations and what I am capable of doing my powers and what is in me. So I'm thankful for that. Then I get up and I start my day and I tend to serve everyone, but I come back to me. Get an hour of workout or reading or whatever, but an hour to you. A lot of people are like, oh, you always by yourself. Mm hmm It's peaceful there. You have to find time for yourself. If you don't, you will serve everyone but yourself. And that's it's in the Bible, and a lot of people. I'm not. I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. Uh, it's in the Bible that serving another God is abomination, or I don't know the, the, the perfect quote. I should look it up. But basically, like serving anyone other than your God, your God is a jealous God, and you know if you read between the lines, God. So we can really, I don't want to just be throwing Exodus 34 and 14. Exodus 34 and 14. Oh, I forgot I deleted. Or mistake. I deleted uh, Google Chrome. I have an iPhone and this phone I do not know how to use it's Android so I think I made a mistake and deleted the whole app so I can't wake up nothing okay so for you must not worship any other God you are never to bow down to another God you shall not bow down to them or serve them for, the, for I the Lord your God am a jealous God um but look up Exodus 3414. I'm gonna look it up also. They have Exodus 20 and 5 also. But you you serve in too many gods. Everyone is a god. Everyone can figure it out themselves. Even if my seven-year-old son can figure it out for himself, I need grown people to figure it out for themselves. I put all power into my young king for him to figure it out because I'm not gonna always be around. So if I'm not gonna always be around, he won't look for mother types and women. He didn't already had a mom. So he looking for a woman and appreciating a woman for what she has to offer rather than, oh, you have to cook like my mommy or you have to clean like my mommy or no, do your own cleaning and cooking. No one should be cleaning and cooking after anyone. Do your own cooking and cleaning. Following after that old Christian, the woman stays home. Cuckoo gaga. I don't know what she gonna do at home. Go crazy, and the man goes to work and cuckoo gaga because he working and serving another place. So he come home, he's drained. He didn't serve the master all day. Now he home and he drained. He about to take it out on you and the kids. But anywho, find time for yourself. I wanted to just do this quick video. I know it's been a minute and I want to dedicate, but I, I I love doing videos. Don't get me wrong. I love doing videos whether I'm touching one person or a million. I love it. it I love it. It's like my time to voice how I feel. And it's just an opinion. You don't have to find time for yourself. You could always work hard and do the things that you've been doing and keep on the same cycle and keep the same story because you might love your life. This might not be nothing wrong with your life. But if you want to change and you want to see start seeing different results, you got to start doing different things and, and then comes different results when you stay consistent. So when you keep consistently taking out time for yourself, the results of the universe will pour down. And also, taking time for yourself and 
it slipped my mind, so it must have not been important. Taking time out for yourself, and it was something else I wanted to say, but it must not be that important. Um, I'm back to Thick Vegan Jazz. Um, I had to cut the pescatarian life out. So, we back on it. Thank you for watching.